So guess what time it is? That's right, it is story time. Now today I have two very different books for you. Firstly, we've got Princess Smarty Pants. And secondly, we've got Lost and Found. So let's start with Lost and Found. Are you comfortable? Are you listening? Let's start then. Lost and Found. <clears throat> Once there was a boy. And one day he found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought it must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that, but there he is. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take him to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. They packed everything that they would need. And together they pushed the rowboat into the sea. They rowed south for many days and nights, with the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything that the boy said. They floated through good weather and bad, when the waves were as big as the mountains, until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly, it looked sad again, as the boy helped it out of the boat. They said goodbye and floated away, but as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own, and the more he thought, the more he realised it was a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost, he was just lonely. Quickly he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. There he is. At last he reached the pole again, but where was the penguin? The boy surged and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen, except the wind and the waves. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see the penguin. There he is on his umbrella. There they are together. And so the boy and his friends went home together talking of wonderful things all the way. So the penguin wasn't lost, he just wanted a friend. And the boy and the penguin made a friendship. So that was Lost and Found. And now we've got Princess Smarty Pants. Can we see her? There we go. So Princess Smarty Pants. Princess Smarty Pants did not want to get married. She enjoyed being Miss, because she was very pretty and rich. All the princesses wanted to be their Misses. Princess Smarty Pants wanted to live in her castle with her pets and do exactly as she pleased. It's high time you smartened yourself up, said her mother the Queen. Stop messing about with those animals and find yourself a husband. Suitors were always turning up at the castle, making a nuisance of themselves. Right, declared Princess Smarty Pants, whoever can accomplish the task that I set will, as they say, 
with my hand. Win my hand. She asked Prince Compost to stop the slugs eating her garden. There he is, running away from a big slug. She asked Prince Rushforth to feed her pets. There we go, you can see all her pets. She challenged Prince Pelvis to a roller disco marathon. Well, he doesn't look very well, does he? She invited Prince Bombshaker for a cross-country ride on her motorbike. She called on Prince Vertigo to rescue her from the shower. The tower, not the shower, sorry, the tower. She set Prince, Prince Bash Thumb to chop some firewood in the royal forest. Look, there they are, running the trees. She, she suggested to Prince Fetlock that he might like to put her pony through its paces. Oh no, the pony's thrown him off. She told Prince Grovel to take her mother the Queen shopping. Oh, where is he under all the bags? She commanded Prince Swimbladder to retrieve her magic ring from the goldfish pond. It's in the crocodile's mouth. None of the princes could accomplish the task he was set. They all left in disgrace. That's that then, said Smarty Pants, thinking she was safe. Then Prince Swashbuckle turned up. Here he is. He stopped the slugs eating her garden fed her pet, roller disco until dawn, rode for miles on the motorbike. He rescued her from the tower. He found some firewood to chop in the forest. He even tamed her horrid pony. And took her mother the queen shopping and retrieved her magic ring from the fish pond. Prince Swashbuckle didn't think Prince, Princess Smarty Pants was so smart. She gave him a magic kiss. And he turned into a gigantic toad. Prince Swashbuckle left in a big hurry. When the other princes heard what had happened to Prince Swashbuckle, none of them wanted to marry Smarty Pants. And so she lived happily ever after. The end. So I hope you enjoyed our two books today, Lost and Found and Princess Smarty Pants. Now tune in tomorrow for more crafts, Bible stories and stories. I'll see you then. Bye.